Hello my dear students. Now in this class I am proceeding the lesson and I am going to revise the next topic. My next topic is uh, binary division but before that uh, yesterday I have given you few homework. Addition and subtraction is very easy and uh, now binary multiplication that I have given you homework I would like to solve those questions for you. So binary multiplication first question was first question was 101011 rules are very simple as already we have discussed if we will multiply it by 0 then it will be 0 if we will multiply it by 1 then it will be 1 so 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 one one the one one zero one the one zero one the zero zero one the zero now we will add the number one 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 and zero this is the answer of this question now the next question that I have given one zero one one multiplied by one zero one now multiply the number and add the number one one the one one zero one zero 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 one one zero one now after multiplication add the number one 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 and one ten so you will write zero one one this is the answer i hope you understand this concept now one more question one zero one zero one zero multiplied by 1011 like this we will multiply the number now we will multiply by 1 zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. Then after 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now again this number, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now we will add the number, 0, 1, 1, 1, 10. 1 and 1 10 1 and 1 10 1 11 1 1 now this is the answer of this question i hope you understand now i am going to finish this topic and uh, the next topic is next topic is binary division now the division method is very much same as in the decimal number system and in this binary division no table is there no such that rule is there so we will follow the same method as we are following in decimal number system now the first question is one zero and we will divide by this number one one zero 
now first time if we will uh, read this one zero so we will apply by one and we will get one zero as in the decimal then after we will subtract this number one and zero we will get downside it is very clear now this zero will come downside and again one one zero subtract so now this is the final answer i hope it is clear to you this is the final answer likewise the same second question you have to note down these questions in your copy and uh, understand this well one zero one zero 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 one 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 we will divide this number with this number so first time you can see this this number is not uh, we can't use this number to divide this number so we will use zero and uh, then zero is multiplied by this and this one will come downside it is clear now we will use one again to multiply this now you can see this will be zero this will be zero this will be zero and here it will take borrow this will be one and this will be zero now it is clear then here this one will come downside again we will take one and one zero zero one then zero 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 one zero now this one will come downside and one one zero zero one and zero now this will be divided i hope you have written this in your copy now few questions i am solving for you this number we have to divide by double one so we will use one zero and zero one time one will come downside but we can't divide this number so we will write zero so it will be zero and this one will come down side so again one this is the answer of this question i hope you understand this concept in this three examples which i have given to you now wrote, uh, write down one homework this you have to solve by yourself try to solve by yourself this is by three number but the method is the same you have to multiply by zero where it is not divisible and then after you have to multiply by one where it is divisible now one more question
you have to divide this number by simple one I hope you have written in your copy now I am going to start the next lesson Windows 7 in Windows 7 what are the main main points now what is Windows 7 Windows 7 is the operating system and which is the software system software also which we are calling this is the main part of the computer with the help of this Windows 7 only computer will work now in this few folders are there as it is given in your book documents then Windows Explorer and uh, what is document all the files which we are downloading which we are saving that will be saved in the document and what is Windows Explorer Windows this folder will contain all the picture music movies which you have downloaded directly second thing Windows Explorer is the way by which we are opening the windows means we can see the files and folders very clearly we can um, see in the tabular form and all the li uh, list and the folders will be shown to us so it is present in the accessories you can go to start menu you can go to accessories folder and then you will get Windows Explorer then everything it will show you in the list form now how will we will start the Windows Explorer? Windows Explorer. Now note down this method. You have to go to all programs. Then you have to go to accessories and in this accessories you will get Windows Explorer. In the Windows Exp uh, accessories you will get Windows Explorer. Now this is the way by which you will open uh, Windows Explorer now viewing files and folders there are there are certain number of views by which we can see means how it is shown to us how means first is large list extra large icon like so i am writing in the sequence first is extra large extra large means big big folders will be shown to you next is medium icons means not very large not very small third is small icons means small small size so the size is not very much big then fourth is list means everything will be shown to you in the list form and in this what is the main thing your folder will contain files and you want to scan list for the file names means it will show you the name of the files that is present in your computer next is details details means it will show all the memories size what is the size of that folder what type of file you have contained in it everything will be shown in this format details then six is your tiles tiles means 
everything will be shown to you in thumbnail format means small 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 thumbnail formats it will be shown to you like 7 is your content means what is the content of your folder that will be shown to you so these are the seven different types of the views which is present in the computer that you can open and it will not affect the file type it will not affect the size of your file or it will not delete it will not rename anything simply it will show you in that format means if you want to see in big then it will make it large if you want to see it in small then it will make it small that's all now next is control panel what is control panel control panel is a folder is a section in which all the settings are present we can use control panel to control the computer system we can install we can uninstall we can uh, stop the services we can repair any software we can change the mouse setting we can change the display timing everything we can change the wallpaper also every control is present in our control panel now how we will start control panel simply you will go to start button and in this start button you will click on You will go to start button and then you will click on control panel so this will be opened and after opening this control panel you will see this kind of window I want to show you this kind of window you can see so then after you can start working with the control panel now the next topic is date and time date and time is present at the downside of your computer right hand side we can change the date and time we can change the time zone what is time zone we can see the american time we can see the time in thailand we can see the time in india so according to the time zone that we have selected the time will be displayed to us this is very simple right hand side every day every time whenever you will start your computer time and date will be displayed to you you have to click on that then time and date setting window dialog box will be opened and whatever the time you want whatever the format you want you can click and you can open that time setting so how we how you will change the time and date very easy it is there is the step you can directly click on the uh, right hand side time and date section second method you can go to control panel so first you have to go to start button then you have to click on control panel then then you have to click on date and time and then whatever the changes you want uh, it will display you the dialog box you have to click on that to change the date and time this is very easy next is your font what is font the way we want to write it is called font if we want to write it in straight then it is some names like times new roman calibri it is okay if we are if we are writing in tilted form then arial we can select so according to the format which we want to uh, 
show which we want to display the writing content that is called font now in this font we can install means we can download from google and we can install any other font also by default english is there we can install hindi we can install urdu we can in install arabic whatever the font we want that we can install in our computer so what we have to do so we have to go to the control panel control panel then go to font so when you will okay font then one window will be opened and in that window you can paste the fonts which you have downloaded that will be installed in your computer so this is called font section and then after how you will use you can't use it directly in your computer it will be connected with your ms word type software means word processing software whenever you will open any word processing software then automatically that font will come in front of you then if your mouse is not working then mouse is having three buttons you know left button middle button and the right button so you can go to control panel then go to mouse setting in this you can invert you will get the option you can invert the controls means right button you can shift to left and left button you can shift to right then after you can slow down the speed of the mouse then after you can apply the tail in your mouse so if you want to click any folder with single click then also you can change so after this mouse setting one dialog box will be opened and in that my dialog box all the settings will be shown to you whatever you want you can do you can make change of that setting then that will be applied in your system now what is osk osk is the on screen keyboard why why we are using osk it is useful when we are typing something and uh, our keyboard is not working properly then we can use osk and uh, we can type with the on screen keyboard you can open this go to start then go to then go to then go to and then on screen keyboard you will get so by following this steps you can open this on screen keyboard and uh, then you can use this keyboard with the help of your mouse no need to use the physical keyboard so i have discussed all the things in this lesson and uh, uh, if you have any confusion regarding this lesson you can write it in the comment section thank you students